The HAL Tejas MK2 in 2025 stands as one of India's most ambitious aerospace projects, reflecting years of research, engineering evolution, and lessons learned from the earlier Tejas MK1 and MK1A variants. The aircraft embodies India's push towards self-reliance in defense technology, representing a crucial step between the lightweight fighter category and the heavier multi-role aircraft. In its upgraded design, engineers have introduced larger dimensions, enhanced aerodynamics, and an overall increase in payload capacity to meet modern battlefield requirements. Every design change, from the elongated fuselage to the addition of canards, serves a purpose aimed at creating an aircraft that is both agile and powerful. The use of composite materials and stealth shaping has reduced radar visibility, while the digital flight control system ensures maximum responsiveness in extreme maneuvers. From a structural point of view, the Tejas MK2's airframe has been built with a focus on modularity and durability. This allows easier maintenance, quicker part replacements, and longer operational life. The aircraft's composite structure accounts for a large portion of its surface, making it lighter yet stronger than its predecessor. The canard configuration has dramatically improved lift and control, especially at high angles of attack, giving the fighter exceptional maneuverability in close combat situations. The redesigned intakes are positioned for optimal airflow to the engine, minimizing drag and maximizing thrust efficiency. The cockpit canopy is more streamlined and offers better visibility, crucial for both combat and training missions. The integration of these design advancements brings the MK2 closer to competing with international 4th and 5th generation fighters. Powering the Tejas MK2 is the formidable General Electric F414INS6 turbofan engine, which produces an estimated 98 kilonewtons of thrust. This leap in engine power gives the aircraft faster acceleration, improved climb rate, and higher maximum speed compared to the Tejas MK1A. With this engine, the Tejas MK2 can achieve speeds nearing Mach 1.8 to Mach 2, placing it in the league of high-performance multi-role fighters worldwide. The improved thrust-to-weight ratio also enhances the aircraft's agility and allows for heavier weapons load without compromising flight performance. Fuel efficiency and thermal management have been refined to extend range and endurance, while the aircraft's larger fuselage accommodates more internal fuel allowing longer missions and deeper strike capabilities without relying heavily on external tanks. Internally, the Tejas MK2 represents a significant advancement in avionics and electronic systems. The cockpit is fully digital, featuring a wide-area display that consolidates flight and combat information into an intuitive interface. Pilots benefit from a side-stick control system and HOTAS hands-on throttle and stick configuration, designed for modern air combat efficiency. The integration of an advanced AESA radar enhances target detection and tracking, capable of simultaneously following multiple airborne and ground targets with high accuracy. Complementing this is the infrared search and track system, allowing the aircraft to detect heat signatures passively without revealing its own position. The Tejas MK2 also includes an advanced electronic warfare suite that can detect, jam, and counter incoming threats, making it a capable platform for both offensive and defensive missions. Weapon integration on the Tejas MK2 has been designed for flexibility and variety. The 11 hardpoints allow the carriage of a broad array of weapons, including air to air, air to ground, and anti ship missiles. Indigenous systems such as the Astra air to air, missile, and Rudram anti radiation missile will be a standard fit, showcasing the increasing use of Indian made weaponry. The aircraft is also expected to support the upcoming BrahMos NG, a smaller version of the BrahMos cruise missile, giving it the ability to strike distant and heavily defended targets. Precision guided munitions, laser guided bombs, and standoff weapons are integrated to provide the MK2 with deep strike capabilities. This range of armaments allows it to perform multiple mission roles including interception, ground attack, maritime strike, and electronic warfare. In terms of operational performance, the Tejas MK2 has been engineered to deliver higher reliability and reduced turnaround time. Ground servicing and maintenance have been simplified using advanced digital diagnostic systems. The inclusion of a health and usage monitoring system ensures real-time tracking of aircraft performance parameters, enabling predictive maintenance and reducing downtime. These improvements translate to higher sortie rates during combat operations, which is vital for maintaining air superiority. 
The Tejas MK-2's combat radius of around 1,500 km and ferry range exceeding 2,500 km make it well suited for extended missions across diverse terrain. Its ability to take off from shorter runways adds to its versatility in both offensive and defensive deployments. As of 2025, the Tejas MK-2 is in an advanced prototype phase, with ground testing and subsystem integration nearly complete. The rollout of the first prototype is expected before the end of 2025, with the first flight scheduled for late 2025 or early 2026. Following that, several prototypes will undergo flight testing to validate design, performance, and system reliability. These tests will cover various flight regimes including high-speed maneuvers, weapons firing, radar performance, and electronic warfare efficiency. After achieving operational clearance, serial production is expected to begin around 2029. HAL plans to produce over 120 units by 2034, ensuring steady induction into the Indian Air Force's frontline squadrons. In terms of pricing and economics, while the exact unit cost remains undisclosed, the government sanctioned a development budget of approximately 10,000 crore rupees for prototype and testing. Once mass production begins, each Tejas MK-2 is expected to be priced competitively compared to foreign alternatives in the same class. The aim is to create a cost-effective yet high-performance fighter that could attract potential export buyers as well. Beyond financial considerations, the Tejas MK-2 project has broader strategic importance. It boosts domestic aerospace capabilities, supports hundreds of suppliers across India, and strengthens the country's defense industrial base. Each technological milestone achieved through this program brings India closer to complete independence in military aviation. The Tejas MK-2's success will determine not just the future of India's fighter fleet but also the credibility of the country's defense manufacturing ecosystem. It represents the transition from licensed production to true indigenous innovation. The aircraft's combination of speed, power, advanced avionics, and stealth features make it a symbol of national progress. Once fully operational, it is expected to replace older fighters like the Jaguar, Mirage 2000, and MIG-29, while complementing the Rafale and Su-30 MKI. As it approaches its maiden flight, the Tejas MK-2 is being closely watched by military experts and aviation enthusiasts alike. It carries not only the expectations of the Indian Air Force but also the aspirations of an entire nation aiming to redefine its role in global aerospace technology.